In this video we're gonna turn your Raspberry Pi into Wi-Fi router with OpenWRT firmware so we'll have more secure, privacy respecting and easy to tweak router. Just to be fair, no you won't be able to attach that many antennas like in the thumbnail but you will get something better. You will turn your Raspberry Pi into Wi-Fi device with no hidden backdoors, updated patch uh, holes in security which is uh, not that common in old routers. Monitor, load and bandwidth live graphs and you can easily manage it through web interface or SSH. It has uh, endless possibility to extend, for example, to block ads, crack Wi-Fi networks uh, with aircrack NG, securely connect to your home network from remote location with open VNP or WireGuard transform your network into mesh network and much more. To follow this video you will need Raspberry Pi 3B plus or other, a 4B version will be faster of course, a power supply for Raspberry Pi, it's 5V 2.5 amps, standard Ethernet cable, USB keyboard, a home router with Ethernet port or Ethernet cable directly from your network, a micro SD card, HDMI cable uh, to your monitor or TV. You can also use a uh, USB capture device plugged into the in, into your PC. Okay, so let's start installation. Uh, first, we need to prepare our micro SD card. Uh, if you are playing before with Raspberry Pi, especially with Noobs software, it is uh, better. To make sure that you have only one partition of full size of the SD card. Take a look at this mess. To make it clear use SD card formatter software. To do it just go for a SD card org. Downloads. Okay, so we got after format we got uh, one uniform area, one partition. In this case, it's a one gigabyte partition. It's enough for OpenWRT. If you plan to install more extensions, of course, this card should be better. Should be should be bigger. Next, go to OpenWRT org website. Mm, scroll the scroll down and click download firmware type in the input box and choose the 3b version um, download factory x4 Okay, next go to the website of Balena Etcher IO. This software will flash our OpenWRT image to a micro SD card. Uh, download it and download it for Windows. Save it and run. Okay, so flash from file. Open. That's what we download and make sure that there is a SD card and flash it. Click yes and here we go. Safely remove SD card using eject SD card in the Windows tray.
pull out the micro SD card uh, from computer and put it into Raspberry Pi SD card slot. Now it's time to connect cables to Raspberry Pi. Plug HDMI cable, Ethernet cable, USB keyboard. Plug HDMI to your TV, monitor or capturing device. When you have everything ready, uh, put a micro USB power cable into Raspberry. As you can see, uh, the Raspberry Pi starts and our system is booting. In this place, click enter and there will be prompt. Uh, let's see what are the network interfaces. IP, IP, A. And we got um, Okay, it doesn't connect, so we need to change the address. Okay, so let's check DNS and gateway of our uh, router from provider. IP config. Oh, so yeah, we got the default gateway and the HCP uh, DNS server 01. So let's go to etc config network network file. So ls check it. Um, we got the network here. So nano is it possible? No, there is no nano. So let's use a vim network. Type DNS. And for our for our router, we need, you need to check the router. <coughs> What's your router? Uh, DNS. It is zero. And gateway is similar. And of course, uh, we need to change our address, IP address. For two so it will be reachable write it down vim is a quite specific program editor uh, so you need to know what to do how to edit this file you might have a hard time <laughs> write in the comments did you have any problems uh, with vim during editing file now let's restart network interface. etc init d network restart. Type enter to get the prompt and let's check the IP uh, and our IP right now is uh, 192.168.02 okay so it looks like we need we have uh, let's check if it's working Yeah, we got the ping, which is good. Uh, let's make a password. Type some new password. And voila. Uh, now let's back to our Windows machine. And let's type uh, our address. And yes, we got the web interface. Type a password. And yeah, that's it. 
Um, we got the fresh out of the box open WRT router. Okay, let's make a fast overview of, uh, of options we have. Okay, so we got the wireless. Wireless is disabled, so let's change it. Um, let's configure it. Remote access point. Yeah, it could be access point. SSD open. Let's let's do it like this. <clears throat> let's uh, do some security. Let's add some encryption. Um, let's add some strong security. WP2PSK. Um, let's type a key. Mm. Okay, for now it should work. Interface pending, so save and apply. Yeah, and changes should be visible. Now let's check the and yes, we got a connected status. Now let's update the packages. Okay, and let's back to the windows and the browser and right now we can see that there is a lot of packages here. For example, we got the aircrack ng, let's install it. Okay, it looks like it's installed. Mm -hmm. um, we can also install adblock. Uh, this video won't cover, um, this will cover only installation, not the configuration of the packages. So it's just a basic. Uh, introduction to the to the packages and many more open vpn check the real time graphs hmm. we got the traffic here and wireless connection so yeah, I'm sure you'll be happy with uh, monitoring. So let me know in the comments, did you have any difficulties up to this time? For more, check my channel. It will be updated soon. So hit that notification bell. So be in touch. See ya.